you a fool for this uh, Oh Lord, Jensen made another one Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone uh, She like Anyways, what's up y'all? It's Simone and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not, welcome back. So if you guys have me on social media, you guys already know that I made a big announcement that I am transferring from the University of Miami to Louisiana State University. So I pretty much just wanted to clarify something some things actually on um i pretty much just wanted to talk about why i left um and like just why i'm leaving pretty much um so i'm leaving you in because sis hurry sis so i'm pretty much leaving um because i just wasn't running good at all like i came in I was like the number one or number two recruit coming out of high school, you know? So my expectations for myself were pretty high. And I was there for two years. So, you know, the first year didn't go as planned. So I'm like, you know, it's my first year of college. Like not everybody just gonna be popping off rip. So I'm like, let me just give it another year plus. I was running a little better at the end of my first year, so that's another reason why I stayed. So second year rolls around and I'm doing worse than I did my freshman year. And I'm not really trying to put the blame on anybody because no athlete is perfect and no training program is perfect. So just because that training program didn't work for me doesn't mean that it's not working for other people and that doesn't mean that it hasn't been working for other people because you know you have had Lauren Williams who was great in the one and they had Shakima Wembley she was great in the two and the four so just because the program didn't work for me doesn't mean that nobody can succeed in that kind of program I pretty much was just tired of just running slow like really like I mean, and people were like, yeah, well, you ran good at conference, but what is conference? Like, I'm an elite runner. I don't care about no conference. I care about NCAAs. I care about making world teams. Like, that conference crap didn't mean nothing to me. So for people to say that literally just tells me that y'all know nothing about track. So that's pretty much why I'm leaving UM. I left on great terms like I have no problem with any of the coaches I have no problem with any of my teammates I just left like I got a full release I started taking my visits and I visited Kentucky Texas and LSU and another question I know y'all gonna ask me like why you chose LSU I did not choose LSU because of anybody running 10-7 I just want to put that out there like that literally did not influence my decision at all because to be honest I liked all three of my visits very much and it was very hard so I just feel like I don't need people like yeah that girl just went 10-7 like yeah Simone is gonna go there because that girl ran 10-7 like no like LSU has been my dream school since I was in eighth grade like the old coach that was there has literally been talking to my high school coaches since eighth grade like she was like really on me heavy since middle school but then when it's time for me to be recruited the first time she doesn't work there anymore and at that time the head coach at Ellis let me get out this damn way see if I can hear me so pretty much like the time that I was being recruited the first time um I guess Ellis you didn't have enough 400 hurdlers so that's pretty much who they were targeting as recruits and that's one reason why I didn't end up there in the first place because it, it was up to me I would have been there and honestly moving is something that I didn't want to do like nobody wants to literally pick up all their stuff and relocate in a month like I have my own apartment here like I don't know where I'm gonna put all my furniture like yeah I just I just really want to 
wanted to make this quick little video on why I left UM and why I chose LSU because people are already asking me. So I'm just gonna refer them to this video so I can stop answering the same questions. And people ask me also all the time, why did you even go to UM? Like, don't be discrediting them people. Like, great talent has came out of UM. They have had plenty All-Americans. Like, don't even do that. Like, like UM is D1 for a reason. Like, just because they not in the SEC don't mean, like, they not nothing. Like, you feel me? Because UM always in the mix. But why I went to UM, so... Basically, you know how you get recruited your junior year of high school, right? So, my junior year, I didn't run good. So, I was basically going off of times that I ran my freshman and my, and my sophomore year. So, I had a 11-6, a 23-3, and a 52-8. And I guess everybody was really impressed with the 52-8. So, I got recruited for a straight 400. Like, so, I didn't like Baylor. I didn't like Florida State. Um, I didn't go to Alabama because I just felt like I would have been distracted there because I had too much damn fun on my visit. And then I wanted to go to Arkansas, but they weren't offering me cost of attendance, which is basically like the money that you get every month or every semester, depending on how the school does it. So UM was just left. And I'm not saying that I wasn't happy with that decision. I just know that that wasn't my first decision. Like that just wasn't initially where I wanted to go. But I mean, I was cool with going to UM, so that's how I ended up going to UM. And I, it's so annoying because so many people ask me that. So many people ask me that, like, like mind your business, like, you ain't going up, so why are you worry about why I'm there? Feel me? And you ain't finna discredit Coach Dean because Coach Dean is an All of Fame coach. So don't act like, don't act like UM is just a bunch of nobodies. Like, tighten up. Honestly, I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm just talking. Hopefully, y'all can hear me because I made this video. I sat down in my living room and made this video, but it just, it just wasn't, it was too long and drawn out and boring. I just wanted to come and make a quick video to answer just some of y'all questions. If you guys have more questions, let me know. DM me. Leave a comment on this Instagram. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for the people that have been there for me this whole time because it was not pretty for me these two years I ain't gonna lie were not pretty I was very I don't know if I was depressed but I was very unhappy just with everything going on like my grades started slipping like just like everything was going wrong so I just appreciate the people that have been there with me not the people that just all of a sudden yeah 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 no 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 you weren't there for me but you want to be here now no so i just want to <laughs> i just want to thank y'all for all the support man because it really means a lot and i'm just ready to get back on my bullshit so stay tuned for that so that pretty much wraps up this video because it's getting dark and I'm, i don't even know if y'all can see me at this point because the sun is behind me but yeah so that pretty much wraps up this video please give it a like please give it a comment and please hit that subscribe button and maybe even turn on your little bell notification so you can get a notification every time I post a video and I promise y'all I'm gonna start posting more and that's another reason why I haven't been posting because I've been taking these college visits and like literally just trying to get my life together so now that my life is almost somewhat together I guess I can start posting a little more and I also have a lot of funny video ideas so stay tuned and I'll see y'all in my next video